We got a good crowd here today. Thanks all for coming. You know, it seems to be our annual flea market keeps getting better and better every year. It's because of your support that that happens. And again, welcome here. It is my pleasure. We have a key lecturer today. Uh, we have this gentleman uh, performing and lecturing for us today. Uh, one of the best from England. We have the incredible Mark Mason. My favorite and uh, here's, here's my opening trick that I always do when I do strolling magic I, I'll, I'll scope out the room I'll have a little look around the room I'll figure out I'll find a small group that I like the look of hey today I'm gonna like it's gonna be you all right just because you're at the front you know that'll be fine and I ask them hey I'm Mark I'm gonna show you my two favorite card tricks I'm gonna show you my second favorite card trick first followed by my favorite card trick second you already look confused. You're not from Delaware, are you, sir? You're going to be fine. Now, to do my favourite card trick second, first, you have to select any one of these. He takes out anything and um, he signs across the face. Not your face, you look silly with a beard and a moustache. Oh, sorry, dude. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, that was a genuine sorry about that. Could you show the card behind you, please, so someone sees? The card really goes in. And by the way, the card really does go in and into the deck. Notice I don't watch it, follow it, see where it goes, because that's my favourite trick that I'm going to do second. I'm going to do my second favourite card trick first. It's a classic of magic. Chase the ace, find the lady, or the three card Monty. They're its most popular names. And I always remove three cards. Now I usually use a nine, what have I got here? I use a nine, a queen, and a nine, but you could use absolutely anything you wish. Now don't forget this is strolling, so I usually put these into my left jacket pocket. For magicians, I put them up here. By the way, just in case anyone thinks I'm doing moves or anything, it's three cards. Now the idea of this game, sir, was all you had to do was keep your eye on the lady. That was the idea of the famous games. Very famous all the way throughout England, as Chase the Ace find the lady. They'd start with the queen in the middle. They'd turn the cards face down. When you took the one out of the middle, it was never the one you thought it was going to be. That's how the game always started. Then they'd get you more interested. Some people would bend a corner, some would tear a corner. The real top guys would stick the queen all the way out so you couldn't miss it. It was clearly sticking out from the others. You can see it at all times. When he took the one out of the middle, it was never the one you thought it was going to be. This is how the game went along. Then they'd set you up for the big finish, the big kill, where they make the real money. They'd talk to this group here, and they would accidentally flash the queen to this group here. Which, by the way, you know, in England is illegal. You're not allowed to flash the queen. That's a different thing. Right? That's what a totally different thing entirely to what it means here. But they would make sure this group saw the queen. They would be talking here and they'd let them get a little peek. So that when the nine went underneath the queen, this group here knew exactly that the, that the queen was in the middle. They'd ask these guys to bet, the money would go on, but extra money would come in from over here. Because they were setting them up for the middle. Nobody ever bet on the bottom card, the nine. Ever. Everybody always went for the middle, the extra money, but that's the other hand. And that's how they're taking money. But I actually told you a small white lie. I've been showing you my favourite trick all along. Because where your seven of diamonds comes from, I've no idea what 